Hi everyone and welcome to Aspis Demo Showcase. My name is Vita and I'm Aspis co-founder. Aspis is an on-chain asset management toolkit which puts the complicated investor and manager relationships into smart contract. During the Demo Showcase, we'll deep dive into the whole process in Aspis. First, we'll look at DAO creation process. We will see how we can create and customize your fund. Then, we will turn into investor and see how investor can absorb the available funds and choose the one that better suits him. Then we will see how the governance works. After that, we will show you how your fund on Aspis can interact with other DeFi protocols and decentralized exchanges to manage your assets. And finally, we will look how investor can exit fund. So let's start with the first step. Okay, let's start with the demo. First, let's connect BNB Chain and create DAO. DAO creation takes five easy steps. First, we define the DAO type. In the released version, we can choose Fund, but in the future, we'll have a tailored templates for Startup and Gaming Guild. Next, we add the basic information about our DAO. Its name, LP token sticker, our strategy description, and links to our socials and documentation. Let's go forward. The LP agreement section is a key step in structuring your fund. Here are the primary inputs. First is fundraising rules. How much we will raise, for how long, in which currency and from whom. We can create a public or a private fund with a specified list of low listed wallets. Then we go to capital of boarding rules. When an investor can exit the fund, and how, which fees are applied for early exit. After that, we enter the fees that are collected within our fund. We have three types of them. Entrance fee, management fee, and performance fee. Fees calculation happens automatically and on-chain. And finally, the fund creator sets the voting rules. Quorum, length, minimum approval rate. After that, we come to investment manager appointment. We suppose that there can be many types of fund management structure. In one example, the, there might be a private trader who creates his own fund and by default he will be the fund manager. Or there can be a situation when the fund is created by the group of people and some of them are actively managing the fund and some of them are just co-founders. So the fund managers can be defined separately within our process. We can have as much fund managers as we want, but by default we have an option when the fund manager is the wallet which is actually creating the DAO. As a final step of the fund creation, we set the controlling rules. First is spending limits, which are set at monthly within our space. That means uh, how much of the assets under management can managers spend within one month. Then we set DAO's wallet uh, interaction rules. To which wallet manager can withdraw funds, with which wallets can manager interact. That means that in the term sheet, investor will see uh, which trading pairs are allowed or which non-DeFi or non-DEX transactions are allowed within this DAO fund. Such uh, on-chain control protects investor from manager's misbehavior. These fields can then be changed through the voting. And uh, finally, after we set up controlling on the same page, we set up the initial LP tokens price. And that's it, our fund is successfully created. To see uh, the new DAO, we go to our DAO head. Let's jump into this DAO and see how it looks inside. Here we can see the information about DAO, its assets and its performance. If you like this DAO as an investor, we can click join and go to the DAO agreement page. On this page, uh, we can see a detailed term sheet, which we'll need to accept and enter this fund if we like it as an investor. Basically, all of the parameters specified on the DAO creation are shown here. We can invest in a fund and mint some LP tokens representing our share in the fund's assets. Let's try it out and invest some BNB in our fund. 
Now, after we have made an investment, we can get back to the DAOs page and see the change in balance. As a fund manager or investor, we can initiate voting in our DAO. Let's suppose that we want to change the minimum and maximum deposit level. For this purpose, uh, we go to voting, select the template and uh, input the target values from minimum and maximum deposit. After that, we also enter the name of the voting and its short description and click button. As you can see, voting has been created. If the proposal is passed, deposit limits will be changed. Now let's move to assets management. We have added a very comfortable way for managers to manage assets in the DAO. Fund manager can simply connect DAO to any DeFi protocol via Wallet Connect and perform transactions. Let's try it out and swap using PancakeSwap. For this purpose, we first uh, copy the Wallet Connect link from PancakeSwap to Aspace interface. Make swap using PancakeSwap's interface. Sign transaction from uh, DAO creators MetaMask. And as you can see, cake were added to DAO balance. After all, the investor can burn his LPs and get back a part of DAO's balance. We can burn any amount of our LP tokens and get back pro rata share of assets currently held by the fund within one transaction.